My name is Jeremy Latriano. I am the Lamlux product consultant at 475 High Performance Building Supply. We are the U.S. and Canadian partners of Lamlux, supplying Lamlux unit skylights, roof access solutions, and glass roof systems to uh, the U.S. and Canada. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about a exciting new feature uh, that Lamlux has introduced to their website. Uh, it's a design tool. Uh, it's very accessible. It can be used by um, designers, builders, really anyone who wants to uh, specify and order one of these skylights. Um, it's available for free use on their website. And today I'm just going to take you through the configure it a little bit, show you how it works and, and give you a little introduction. So here on my screen, you can see that I have the Lamalux homepage. Um, from the Lamalux homepage, it's quite easy to access the Lamalux product configurator. We're just going to come up here to the skylights menu, drop down to service planning support, and then BIM, building information modeling. This will take us to a page which describes the BIM features available by Lamlux. Um, specifically, what we are looking for is the product configurator. Uh, so if we just scroll down here, we can see configure BIM objects yourself now. This is the, the new feature that we have on this page. Just click right here. We get a little pop-up window from Lamlux. And here we can see some of our standard Lamlux Skylight solutions. Um, most commonly supplied to the US are our Lamlux Glass Skylight FE zero degree and three degree. And we're also seeing much more interest in the Lamlux F100 circular skylights. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna break down one of these glass skylight FE zero degrees. On this page, we can see all of the details that are associated with these Lamlux FE zero degree skylights. Um, and on this page, we can specify exactly what we need for each of these features. Um, everything from the curb height to the color, uh, we can specify on this page, uh, we'll get a nice image here as we build the skylight in the configurator. And then once the skylight is built, we can actually download drawings, 3D models, et cetera. Um, so let's, let's try it out. We can choose here a level of detail. For now, I'll just keep it at the LOD 500. Um, here we can see our standard sizes, our in-between sizes. And in a previous video, we talked about standard size landlock skylights versus custom size landlock skylights. The difference being standard size units come with an insulated curb in between sizes come with an adapter for attachment to a site built curb. For today, we'll just go with a standard size. So you can see we have our, our curb here. Now we're gonna choose the top edge size, the approximate curb bottom opening dimension, which is the size that we use to communicate the specified skylight for ordering purposes. You can see that it's in metric. These are all the standard sizes that we have available um, up to about 200 by 200 uh, or about 72 inches by 72 inches. So we'll go there with the largest size. And you'll see that the landmass configurator will begin to load the new image right away. We could also choose if we wanted to make it an exit hatch. Um, and this side is not possible, but for other sizes, it could be. Um, we could then choose our heat transition coefficient, either for a double layer insulated glazing or triple layer insulated glazing. Obviously, at 475, we believe in the passive house approach, which requires triple layer insulated glazing. So we'll go ahead and select that 0 0.6. U value. Uh, glazing type as well. Um, we can see the different glazing types that Lamlux has available. Typically, we recommend solar protection glass just because skylights do get so much exposure um, being on the roof. Uh, so we want to make sure we're mitigating our solar heat gain uh, and our visual transmittance. Looking at the transparency of the glazing, uh, again, we can have clear glazing or opal glazing, which is translucent. Um, we'll stick with our standard clear option for now. Uh, again, looking at the performance of the glass, now we can see that we have a few different options for our solar heat gain um, and for our visual transmits. What we supply as a standard option is the 55 by 30, but higher or lower solar heat gains and visual transmits are also available. Generally speaking, most codes require skylight heat gain coefficients to be below 30 to 40%, so keep that in mind. Lamalux skylights can be customized uh, with a RAL powder coat for the profile. Um, in any RAL color. Um, so down here, we can go ahead and choose that color. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna leave it on the standard RAL 9016. Here you can see that the skylight already has that nice white profile. Um, there's also the option to have no finish at all, in which case it would just be a cold aluminum finish, but for now we'll, we'll keep our nice color. Uh, type of upstands, um, here we can see different materials. Um, in addition, uh, different approaches uh, for the Lamalux upstands. The GRP upstand is most commonly used in Europe. Um, it's available in heights of 12, 16, or 20 inches. Um, it has a pretty wide splay coming down from the class at a wider angle than, say, these GRP heightening elements. For our stock options, we supply these GRP heightening elements. Um, we typically supply them for custom options as well. Uh, with a, a shorter curve that comes down at a straighter angle from the class, we just find that they're a better fit for most projects in North America. So we'll go ahead and choose that. And this configurator actually gets into several options that I usually don't even discuss with clients. For example, this, this suspension lip for storage on the roof line, we typically find that it's just simpler for um, the builder to 
uh, install termination bar um, when flashing the skylight. Uh, here we can choose a drive. We want to make the skylight operable, um, either manually, in this case, our skylight is too large for that option, um, or via a 24 volt or 230 volt chain drive. In the US uh, and Canada, 24 volt I find is, is much easier to integrate into electrical systems. So we'll go ahead and choose that. So once we have built our skylight model, uh, we get this image here in the top left, and we are able to rotate it in any direction that we need, make sure it looks exactly as the requirements dictate. And then you can either share it using this recommend this product button, or you can request the quotation. If you click request a quotation here, your quotation will be sent to Lamlux in Germany and then passed along to me. So if it's simple, you could just reach out to me directly. We can see now we have it operable via this tandem chain drive. We've got our nice route code on the profile or our appropriate glazing and curb is selected. So we're ready to kind of take this thing and, and integrate it into our drawings, whereas during design development, uh, we can go ahead and download the skylight as a 3D model, a 2D model, a dimensional drawing, BIM model, or a 3D PDF data sheet, um, which would, in which case you'd have all the specifications laid out as well. So we'll go ahead and download a DWG. So if we click over here into our download center, we can see all of the uh, skylights models that we have previously created. Um, we can click back into any models to make further edits, um, or we can save any to our computer. Um, but this tab will ensure that all of our models are available for download as needed and that you can work within multiple models at the same time. So once the file is in our download center, um, we can go ahead and save it to our computer for model integration. If we have to make any further changes, we can go ahead and just click back in. I hope this video has been helpful um, and that the Lamlux product configurator will be a useful tool in your high performance projects going forward. Feel free to get in touch, jeremy at 475.com with any questions. And please visit our daylighting website, 475daylight.com for project solutions and everything you need to know about Lamlux in the US and Canada. Thanks.